Hey, welcome back. I'm playing a new game today. Mario RPG. I always think like, oh, why didn't I play this game yet? But I've only played a couple games on here, so. This is one of my favorites as a kid. I know I say that every time, but. Okay, I don't know. Oh, new game. There we go. So, anything I wanted to say before we start? I guess I'll just start. I don't know. Oh, what's my name? I don't know. I'm not going to be clever. I'll just be Ant. I'm not going to wear the headphones, probably, to, to listen to the music for this one, but I... I don't know. The music is very nostalgic for me. This music. Boom, 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 boom. Burp, 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 What was the name... of the composer? I think I mentioned her name before. Yoko Shimamura. Yeah, I like the music in this a lot. And it's, I think it's the same person who did Kingdom Hearts. I don't know, why am I looking that up? It's dumb, don't do that. Am I playing? No. Um, okay, we're starting. Uh, I guess I don't, I'm not gonna do notes today. Um, I looked up Ocarina of Time is like 25 hours long and this game's only 10 hours so i was thinking oh this game is so long i remember as a kid like oh it's so long but then it only took me 10 hours to beat it <clears throat> or 11 hours which is only like 40 episodes am i I am like feeling bad that I keep playing Mario and Zelda games. I was thinking about that a little bit. Why is that? Um, there's this thing, I don't know. I haven't formed this opinion or thought yet, but it's like when you're a kid, you do a bunch of stuff. You watch TV, you play games and you have like your favorites. And then when you get older and you think back about them, you think more about the ones that were popular because those are the ones that people, the, that most people play and that most people are continuing to talk about. So like, I mean, I've played on this channel, like, um, I really liked this game when I was a kid called Battle Bowl, but nobody talks about it. And so I never... When I think about, oh, what's like your favorite game when you were a kid? I don't think about Battle Bowl. It doesn't come to mind. It's just like Mario and Zelda, but that's because it's just, it's still a constant thing in, in the culture. People always talk about it. There's still new games coming out. I should make another Battle Bowl. This is a cool start to the game. Like you just, no, you're just fighting Bowser. I think they do this in Paper Mario too. I remember as a kid thinking like, oh, this is... It's very cinematic. Like you start off with something exciting happening. this so much? That's a good question. I always do that. <laughs> I ask myself stupid questions. Um, I was thinking about, because I've been playing the new Final Fantasy 7, but when I was a kid, like younger, I don't know, younger than like 15 or 14, I didn't really play those that might, okay, I'll say younger than that, because I want you to think I'm smarter. <laughs> um, Oh, 
There's a lot of jokes in this game, which aren't. Is it, that's, that's nice. It's very goofy. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? As a kid, I don't know if anybody else experienced this, but like the Final Fantasy games were really intimidating to me. I remember specifically my brother playing Final Fantasy VIII when I was maybe like 10 or 9 or 11 or something, and I was watching him playing, playing it. Maybe I was younger. I'll give myself more credit and be like, oh, I was like 3. No, I was probably like 15. <laughs> um, I was watching him play it the beginning of it and it was just like a ton of text like the first three hours of the game is just explaining all these menus and how you're supposed to do the battle and the jobs and stuff and I remember watching him play it and be like this is like <laughs> this is like homework <laughs> I can't do this this doesn't look like fun or it was just intimidating. I, it seemed like fun, but like too much work. I'm not gonna understand it. I'm not gonna be good at it. It's too complicated. So then you play a game like this, and it's just nice, and it's not it's just simple. You're Mario, you punch people. That's it, there's no tutorial. <laughs> they just throw you in, and you can figure it out. Even if you're a kid. Um, this game gets a lot of, uh, people like this, like, active, I think it's, I don't know, it's, it was a pretty unique thing when it came out that was like, the battle system has this active thing where if you punch somebody and you time the punch, you press A, when you punch, you punch them twice, so, it's not just kind of boring Final Fantasy 3 where you just, Go through the menu and say, I want to do this, and you just press A, and then it just does it. And it's like random whether it hits or not. It's, you gotta be paying attention, to, you gotta block and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, I guess the reason why I didn't think to play this one is because I'd already played it recently. I'm like, whatever. I don't know. It's been a long time since this NES Classic came out, though. It's probably almost three years. Um, and I was remember I was remember playing I was remembering playing this. Um, I was feeling kind of nostalgic for that. Not even like when I was a kid. <laughs> Like, I remember I came home from work and I played it for, like, an hour every day until I beat it, and... I don't know, I wasn't, I didn't... It's a weird, nostalgia's a weird thing. Because I knew in that time, what, three years ago, when I lived, like, with my parents, and I wasn't happy. But I think ba about the memory, and I'm like, oh, that was nice, you came home from work and you played a game. You liked. And I just played this so I shouldn't get lost. I think I probably would have played Paper Mario before this, if I could ever figure out how to do the N64 thing to get that to work. So Final Fantasies were intimidating. Yeah, I remember Final Fantasy VIII, that was the one that was my 
brother was playing. And I was like, uh, ran away, and then I just played this game. Like, oh, this is fun. And this is like a nice entry level RPG experience. I don't know when that sounds pretentious to say. Because I don't, I don't know. I don't really like RPGs anymore. <laughs> I don't play them that much. I was just playing Octopath Traveler. I didn't really like it. The thing about RPGs is just, there's so much story, like so much text. You're just constantly reading stuff. I don't know. It's weird because I like games that have story. Like that's that's why I like The Last of Us because like I'm just there for the story. That's the only reason I'm. I really play games anymore. It's just for stories that I like, which is probably bad. <laughs> Like, I'm not a very good gamer. Wow. I had something interesting to say. What was it? Um, I, been, I didn't like Octopath Traveler, even though it's a good game. I go, I go to like media stuff now, just like for stories. Like I watch a lot of TV and I'm just like, I don't know. I think the reason is because like I just wanna feel something. <laughs> it sounds weird. Like I just wanna feel emotions. I guess in my life, I don't really feel them. With TV, it's easier. Everything's simpler, I guess. Oh, something bad happened, something good happened. What's this character gonna do? I don't know. But when you're a kid, there's something about RPGs that it's like addictive. Just you want to keep getting better and keep leveling up. I don't know what it is. Like Pokemon's another one I can remember being like addicted to as a kid. Just so you want to keep leveling up and getting that like dopamine release of like getting better and stronger and fighting better guys when you get older i was i was praising this game for no tutorials but this one's not that bad when you get older when i got older RPGs are kind of boring to me because it's just like the same thing over and over again and you just think, well, why am I doing this? A month from now, I'm, I'm going to be finished with the game and I'm not even going to remember anything about it. <laughs> we did it. So now I play games that like have stories, so I'm like, I want to feel something. <laughs> I was going to do this yesterday, today's Friday, I always do it on Friday, but I think from now on I'm going to try to do it on Tuesday, I mean Thursday, because I don't know, I do this on Friday and it's like eats into the weekend. Because then I have to edit. It takes like three hours to do this. So then the Friday night's gone. And then Saturday I have to edit it in the morning. What am I doing on Thursday? Just... Yes, I know about time tits. Burp, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think we can go a little bit longer. Um, these episodes are only going to be 15 minutes, but maybe today a little bit longer. Because I didn't actually do anything. I have to save. I have to remember to save. Do my save states and stuff. See? Yeah, blocked it. You gotta pay attention. Blocking is kind of hard. I don't- you, it's hard to know when they're attacking. You're supposed to press A when they hit you, but it's like- he's like a Goomba spinning. When, when is he supposed to be hitting me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so let's- I'll show you. Let's fight one more guy. So, you do the timed hit, which is, uh, press A now. And he does this thing, which means a double hit. I don't know. So then when he attacks me, I blocked it. So let's show, can I defend? Okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Wanted to show what it looks like if you don't block it. Okay, and pause. Okay. I don't know. I always feel like these first episodes when I play new games, I should be like more excited because people might, this might be actually one that someone might actually watch because it's the first. So I don't want them to be disappointed when they watch it and be like, oh, this guy, he's not even excited to play his favorite game. I don't know. I am excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, so Last of Us, part two, whatever, I'll finish it eventually. I'll play it again next week. That's a long game. It's almost as long as Ocarina of Time. Anyway. I don't know, I think I feel, I, feel, I have a good feeling about this game. Like, it's gonna be good. good i'm gonna be able to talk and talk about the game and stuff that's important i don't know if i did a great job today but we'll get better okay thanks if you're watching and see you tomorrow bye